Here's a question a lot of people are asking. Should Christians vote for Trump? I just was in a group of, of, of Christian leaders the other day, and we were all torn over the issue. There's some said yes, and there's others that said no. But the key for all Christians that are listening and watching this video right now is to vote for their Christian values. I nor anyone should manipulate any person to vote for a candidate that they feel doesn't hold to their values. Furthermore, we've gotten to a place where candidates will do anything and they'll say anything to get people's votes. They will lie, they will steal, and they will say they will repeal just to win. David Barton, a, a great mentor and friend, once shared with me that many of the local and state elections back in the early days of America didn't run a high-targeted campaign. When it was time for election, the people would write in the person of character they felt would represent the community and abide by the law. Nowadays, millions of dollars are spent in an attempt to sway the voter. So much of it is just pure manipulation. So here's the facts, and these are certainly facts that I wish were not the case, but they are. Trump is the RNC presidential candidate. A vote for Trump not only is one more vote preventing Hillary access to the White House, who does not support any of our Christian values, but is the best logical and strategic one. Up to now, the Never Trump group hasn't come up with any alternative candidate. And even if they did, it's way too late for that candidate, whoever it is, to have a chance at even winning the presidency. I wish that were the case, but it isn't. And here's the thing. Ted Cruz and Jeb Bush didn't win the nominee. So how do you suppose this other party candidate, separate from the Libertarians and the GOP, has a chance to do anything? The only thing this other candidate will do is take votes away from the GOP nominee. If this were to happen, we could see the Libertarians and this other than Trump candidate garnishing upwards to 10 to 50% of the vote. This would be a surefire way of getting Hillary Clinton elected. What we face this coming November isn't ideal, but rather than throw in the towel, I do believe evangelicals have an opportunity to invest in Trump and to guide him to become a good president that can uphold to the Constitution. If we keep holding out on voting for a presidential candidate that embraces all of the things that we as evangelicals believe, then guess what? We'll never vote. I like Ted Cruz, but even when Ted Cruz was running, there were certain issues that I didn't agree on him wholeheartedly. No doubt I still believe he would have made a better president, but he lost. And why? Because the church was either silent, disengaged, or split on the nominees at the time, leaving Trump with the majority of the evangelical vote. My point is this. As evangelicals, we need to make sure that we are not trying to vote in a Christian pastor or a theologian. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say that. We can hope for that. But in recent years, that's becoming less and less the case. Which, if the church is honest with itself, is mostly to blame for that. You decide.